This is writing equations and function notation from word problems. Okay, the first thing I want to ask you is, what are the two words we are looking for, our two unknowns? Asia. Cost and hours. You can see they write it here, which means the same thing as charges. And we also have hours. So we know that we've got hours. Want me to do black or white? It just seems like... Let's see. Hours. Is that okay? Hours and we have cost. And it told us right there. Now, the next thing I want you to do is ask yourself, what depends on the other? What is the depender, Chris? Um, the depender is the cost. The cost or the charge depends on how many hours I use the babysitter for. So the cost is my depender. And what variable stands for the depender? Yes. Why? Yeah, why? So why is, and I'm putting that in parentheses. So that means my hours is independent, and that would kind of be like my x. But instead of that, I want you to call them by the variables that, they're na that they stand for. So hours will use h, and cost or charge will use c. Now, this is the part that you're not, you can write it down now. y equals m x plus b. What's the fancy way to write the y? Ian? F of x. The f of x equals m x plus b. Now, I don't want you to do this. I actually want you to put it in function form using h and c. So what do you think, how do you think I would write this? First of all, what do I replace for x? Um, Kate? H. H. For the X, I'm going to replace an H right away. So I've got this right here. Okay. And then how am I going to make this fancy Y, the F of X, using these variables? Zach? F of H. Close. But I've got, I want to put this depending relationship right here. How can you use the C? The C, where does that go in here? That would be F of X. Right, so instead of F of X, we're writing the C of H. Meaning, the cost, depending on hours, is equal to, now, what is going to go with the M? What goes with the hours? Caleb? What goes with it, the coefficient, would be 365, and that really represents what in our, in our y equals mx? Uh, M. Right, that's like my slope. Okay? Now, what am I going to put in for my b? Remember, b is always a constant number. Asia? $3.50. So basically, this is like my starting point. $3.50. It's my base charge plus $3.65 per the number of hours equals the cost I will make for that number of hours. Now, what would I do in the second part of this? So I, I identify my, my unknowns. I give them names. John. Um, you replace um, H for 9. Right. I'm going to input 9. They don't want to know that you can just write the equation. They want to see you can do input. They can use it, that you can use this equation that you've just created. So the cost for a nine-hour job equals 365 times nine hours plus 350. Now, you can use your calculator here. You don't need to, like, multiply, spend your time multiplying. Three times 32, is 32 and 85 cents plus 350. Okay, and then I simplify it. The cost of a nine hour job is 36 and 35 cents. Okay. 
32.85 plus 3.50 is 36 and 35 cents. 36 dollars. Now, I don't need to use the units all the way along. Really, see those red lines? That's just stuff I wanted to lead you to this point. But I do want you to be able to write it in function notation form, input, and solve it. Yes? So we can use our calculator for homework? Like yeah, for sure, like sure. For multiplying and dividing, always. Okay, questions? All right, let's try one together. Okay, ready? Can I move on? Okay. So, I want you to, we're going to stop in certain stages because I want to make sure you're, you're, you're getting it right. Step one, find the words. Step one, what are the words? Give me a thumbs up when you're done and you know your words. What are the two unknowns? This one's tricky. Okay, I want to... What are the just the two words? Month, Month and cost. cost. You're very close, Julian. And this is the trick right here. Because usually it's our time that's changing. But is time changing? Because it says find the cost for a month, one month. Is month going to change? No, I was debating class. Okay, exactly. It is the class. I'm glad you thought your way through that. It's class and cost. Because my month is not going to be changing. Yeah. So I've got cost and class. What is the depender? What is the depender, Jairus? Cost. Is the depender. So the cost becomes what variable? The Y. The y. And Julian, we're going to use the class as our, but let's call the class, let's call that A, because I have two C's, and we'll take the cost here. Now, build the equation. Pause the recording, build the equation. Function notation form. Okay. Zach, what do you think it is? C of A equals the, the C of A equals 38 plus Okay, are you sure? $30 for one month membership plus $150 for each aerobics class. Shh. Oh, I, a plus 30. Okay, so we can do 30 plus 150A because the aerobics classes are changing. Okay? Not 30 times aerobics classes. Now, what would I do next? Finish your input, guys. Finish your input. Okay, and so the cost of five classes is $30 plus $150 times five classes. The cost of five classes is $30 plus $750. The cost of five classes is $3750. And that's how we do function notation for word problems.